Welcome inside the Levy Center. It's a South Bay rivalry matchup today as the Santa Clara Broncos take on the San Jose State Spartans. Hi again, everybody. I'm Joe Rizzo. Welcome to our WCC Network broadcast of Santa Clara women's basketball. Stay tuned. We'll have the starting lineups in the opening tip right after this. Welcome back to the Levy Center. It's Santa Clara and San Jose State uh, here for this late afternoon tilt and the final non-conference game on the Broncos schedule. A red-hot Santa Clara team off of a win on Sunday uh, up in uh, Reno against uh, University of Nevada. Broncos come in having won three straight, six out of their last seven and eight and four overall record taking on a san jose state team that has uh, struggled here out of the gates under their first year head coach april phillips really a time of transition for the spartans a lot of new faces they've won only one game thus far this year come in with a one and seven record the starting lineup for san jose state uh, the spartans again uh, added 10 new players to their team this year nine of which were transfers uh, four of their five starters uh, brand new uh, to the Spartans program Jada Holland one of the starting guards She is the leading scorer for San Jose State at 12 points per game a senior from Pleasanton Sydney Richards a sophomore from Sacramento at five points per contest Marissa Davis Jones a 6-1 sophomore forward uh, nearly 10 points per game. She's the top rebounder on this Spartans uh, squad. Jasmine Singleton, a junior guard, four points per game. And Alani Fluker, a junior forward, at about two and a half points per contest. The starting five for San Jose State. Meanwhile, for Bill Carr's Santa Clara Broncos, uh, the Broncos made some changes to their starting lineup on Sunday at uh, Nevada, really out of necessity. Santa Clara is a little shorthanded right now. Some players unavailable both on Sunday and again here today. Uh, so a different looking lineup than when we last saw this Broncos team at home over a week ago Lexi Pritchard Ashley Maldonado had been coming off the bench They will both receive their second straight starts of course a lot of experience with both of those guards Laura Edmondson Ashley Haraki and Tess Hill who won another WCC freshman of the week award yesterday uh, they round out the starting five for Santa Clara the Broncos are going to dress only eight players here today uh, a number of players out whether it be due to injury or illness no Aziana Vasallo 
Uh, the Broncos' second leading scorer at 10 and a half points per game, no Olivia Pollard. The Broncos' third leading scorer at 10 points per game, so that's two normal starters that are unavailable uh, here this afternoon. Anna Johnson, Emma Ellinghouse, Jade Kadi also not in uniform for this game. So the Broncos uh, dressing only eight. They played only seven in the game against uh, Nevada. So uh, uh, starters are going to have to log uh, heavy minutes uh, once again here in uh, today's game, the final non-conference uh, contest of the regular season. And we're underway. Broncos in the home white. Spartans in the road blue. These teams normally meet every season right around this time. Last year in San Jose, Santa Clara was a nine-point winner, a 67-58 triumph. So trying to make it two in a row here against the Spartans as San Jose State misses on their first attempt. That was Davis Jones. Here's Tess Heal with the dribble and a whistle, and she's fouled. Broncos put together an excellent defensive effort on Sunday at Nevada, won the game 66-56. Really a game in which the Broncos were, were in control from start to finish, had a double-digit lead nearly the entire second half. A runner there from Pritchard as well, short, but a offensive rebound from Laura Edmondson, and she's fouled. And Edmondson will go to the line here, trying to get the Broncos on the board. Mentioned this great stretch here for Santa Clara where they've won six out of their last seven games. The only loss during that stretch was the very competitive effort they had at second-ranked Stanford. Those six wins have come by an average margin of 31 points. So Broncos have been winning a lot. They've been winning big. As Edmondson, two out of two at the line. Laura averages nine points, seven rebounds per game. The junior forward from Australia and Santa Clara on the board first here today after this game it'll be the 18 game gauntlet that is the WCC schedule begins for the Broncos on Saturday here at home against Pepperdine as we get a traveling call made on Alani Fluker and the first San Jose State turnover that's been a big problem for the Spartans this year they turn it over about 19 times per game. You contrast that to Santa Clara, only 14 turnovers per contest. That's the fewest in the WCC. Aldonado, good look from three off the mark. And now the Spartans with a basketball trailing 2 nothing, Driving in and uh, drawing the foul there, Jasmine Singleton. And that's really the game for San Jose State. Spartans have also really struggled shooting the basketball this year. In fact, they average only about three and a half made threes per game. So they want to drive to the basket, draw a lot of fouls, get to the line. First free throw, no good from Singleton. Singleton, junior guard, began her collegiate career at UNLV. Transferred to Eastern Arizona College last season, now here with San Jose State. And it really is a, a brand new Spartans roster under this new coaching staff. Nine transfers added this season. Maldonado, and she gets a friendly roll. First points for Ashley Maldonado, inserted into the starting lineup on Sunday. But a very familiar role for Maldonado. She was a, a starter exclusively two seasons ago, one of the top point guards in the WCC. Edmondson had that rebound, but the ball knocked away and then out of bounds, and this will go over to Santa Clara. And now the first Spartan substitution of the game is Ani Nichols. A grad transfer comes in. Broncos leading 4-0 early first quarter action here from the Levy Center. Tess Heal with the basketball. Heal off of a game in which she scored 26 points, led all scores. Maldonado around the screen, misses the three. And Davis Jones with the rebound. Davis Jones averages 7.5 rebounds per game, one of the top rebounders in the Mountain West Conference. Mishandles that pass, however, and Ashley Haraki comes away with a loose ball, and Haraki going coast to coast makes it 6-0 Broncos. 
good start here for Santa Clara. They've forced three turnovers and have the early 6-0 lead. Spartans have missed their first two shots here in the early going as that pass knocked away by Haraki and out of bounds. It could be a game where Santa Clara really dares San Jose State to shoot it from deep. A Spartans team that is at only 20% from three-point range. And another turnover. Haraki on the floor comes away with it. Here's Edmondson, turns in the lane, misses. A fight for the rebound. It's Fluker that controls it for the Spartans. Still a 6-0 Santa Clara lead. On the drive is Holland, and she gets it to go. And that's Jada Holland's game, the senior guard, East Bay native. Honorable mentioned all Big West at UC Riverside last season as we get an Aaron pass there, and Santa Clara turns it over. Now the first Broncos substitution of the game is Mariah Hudgens. Freshman from Arua, Colorado comes in. Ashley Maldonado will take a seat. It's a 6-2 Santa Clara lead, 6.45 to go here in the first quarter. Spartans last played exactly one week ago. It's back-to-back -back buckets here for San Jose State. That's Davis Jones. Spartans were last in action on December the 6th, and uh, they were beaten badly by USC down in Los Angeles, a 71-44 defeat for the Spartans. San Jose State's only win this year has come against CSUN, a team the Broncos have also beaten. As Laura Edmondson drawing some contact, will head back to the foul line. First foul on Moreland, who's in off the Spartans bench. Third San Jose State team foul. Spartans have played one other WCC team in their non-conference, suffered a 15-point loss to St. Mary's. Edmondson, a perfect 4 of 4 from the line here in the early going. And an 8 to 4 Santa Clara lead. Turnover is an issue here early for the Spartans. They've turned it over four times in the first four minutes. Here is Davis Jones establishing position, but has the shot blocked. Good defense from Edmondson. Here's Heal quickly ahead to Hudgens. Defense turning to offense for Santa Clara. And the Broncos, who love to get out in transition off of turnovers or missed shots and they do it perfectly there leading 10 to 4. here's davis jones spinning in the lane through the double team she misses though and another rebound for edmondson that's six rebounds already for laura edmondson not even halfway through this first quarter as lexi pritchard gets knocked to the floor and that'll be a foul on singleton Singleton's first and the fourth team foul on San Jose State as Maldonado back in for the Broncos. Georgia Grigoropoulou, the freshman from Greece, also enters for Santa Clara. And the Broncos, normally a very deep bench, when they're at full strength, would go 11, even 12 deep. Santa Clara dressing only eight players here today as heel. She gets knocked to the floor, and a jump ball is going to be called here. And on the alternating possession, it's Broncos basketball. Santa Clara leading 10-4, to nearing the midway point here of the first quarter. Off the inbound, great look, Maldonado to Hudgens. What a pass. And Santa Clara's opened up an eight-point lead. Maldonado, who was among the WCC leaders in assists two years ago when she was a full-time starter. As we get a whistle and an offensive foul, an illegal screen. Davis Jones will be called for her first. And that'll bring us to our first media timeout. 4.57 to go in the opening quarter. 12-4 Santa Clara. You're watching Broncos basketball on the WCC Network.
Welcome back to the Levy Center. Good start here for Santa Clara. Broncos in front 12 to 4. They've forced five San Jose State turnovers already. Edmondson and Hudgens with four points each leading the way. And now Tess Heal on the board. Heal, the Broncos' leading scorer, 15 and a half points per game. That's seventh best in the WCC. Heels won the WCC Freshman of the Week award four times already. She's won four times. The season's only five weeks old. What a start to her collegiate career, and she had another big game in the win on Sunday over the Wolfpack. Shot clock down to three. Long two from Davis Jones is off the back rim. And a Broncos rebound. Santa Clara's on an 8-0 run right now. Heel looking for Grigora Pulu. And the ball knocked out of bounds. Santa Clara will keep it with 4.08 to go in the first quarter. Is Nye Nicholas in for the Spartans? Sophia Kayla Meni, a freshman, also in for the Spartans. Laura Edmondson returning here for the Broncos. 14 to 4 is the Santa Clara advantage. Maldonado trying to split the defenders out to Hudgens. Hudgens three rims out. Edmondson, who was fighting for the rebound, got knocked in the face there, it looked like. And she's down to a knee. No foul was called. It's just going to be out of bounds to Santa Clara. Laura Edmondson's got a hand over her over her mouth and nose, and I think she's bleeding. Yeah, she's gonna have to get attended to over there on the Santa Clara bench, and perhaps the officials will be going to the monitor here to determine if there was excessive contact. Our Edmondson's off to a great start here uh, in this game, four points and six rebounds already. The Broncos are uh, very short-handed when it comes to, to forwards and post players right now. Olivia Pollard, who normally starts at the post with Edmondson, is not in uniform today. Emma Ellinghouse is also unavailable. As we get a look at that last play, and you see the, uh, the arm there from Moreland just knocking Edmondson in the face. And the officials indeed are at the monitor. Getting an extra look at that last play. So it's the kind of game where Edmondson figures to be playing a lot out of necessity. Georgia Gregora Pulu also figures to get a lot of minutes off the bench today. Another post player for the Broncos. As the officiating crew still looking this one over. 3.54 to go here in the first quarter. The Broncos have opened up a 14-4 lead. Final non-conference game here for Santa Clara. It has been an excellent start to the season for the Broncos. Didn't necessarily begin that way. The Broncos uh, lost some games here at home. That opening home stand to Santa Barbara, Sacramento State. Although both the Gauchos and the Hornets are off to fantastic starts this year losses that really don't look all that bad a month later Broncos were only two and three there early but have rattled off six wins in their last seven games the shooting has picked up the defense has been tremendous and we've seen the Broncos turn defense into offense here in this first quarter tonight officials have finally uh, finish their viewing there and, and deliberating here. And uh, they're going to call over both head coaches, Bill Carr and April Phillips. And uh, we'll hear here in a moment what the call is. Laura Edmondson, she's got a big smile on her face right now. That's a good sign. We'll try and hear the call here from the officials. And 
and an intentional foul has been called on Moreland. So that'll be a couple of free throws and the basketball here for Santa Clara. And I think no surprise when we saw a look at that replay. So the technical free throws for Tess Heal hits them both. Broncos are on a 10-0 run now and leading 16 to four. And it's Broncos basketball still. Lexi Pritchard back into the game for Santa Clara. Laura Edmondson, by the way, is at the scorer's table and getting ready to check back in for the Broncos. So that's a great sign as we get an illegal screen now on Santa Clara. Maldonado was curling around the screener there, Hudgens. And the foul on Hudgens. Second team foul on the Broncos here in this first quarter. San Jose State's gone over three minutes now without scoring. Turnovers have been a problem for the Spartans again. They've turned it over five times already. Make it six. Aaron pass there as Maldonado comes away with the basketball. Now it is a San Jose State team. They do play pressure defense. They'll often force a lot of turnovers. As good ball movement here. Broncos find an open Lexi Pritchard in the corner, but her three-point shot, no good. And we get another whistle and an offensive foul on a legal screen. Nicholas whistled for her first. And San Jose State's going to call a timeout here. April Phillips is not happy. Difficult start here for the Spartans. Seven first quarter turnovers. We're only seven minutes into this game. And you get a look there at Phillips. Frustrated with her team at the moment. Her first year at the helm here at San Jose State. Phillips previously an assistant at Texas, Cal, among a few other places. Played at Georgia Tech and Xavier before a professional career overseas. And a, a, a rebuilding process here with the Spartans. She turned over the roster. San Jose State won only five games last year, went five and 25, and just two and 16 in Mountain West play. So maybe not a surprise that the Spartans have gotten off to a slow start this year. Great move, Tess Heel spinning in the lane and finishing with the left hand. Heel, who has been adept at getting to the basket here this beginning of the season. And now she leads all scores with six points. Broncos up 18 to four here in the first quarter. Broncos have played lockdown defense here at the start of this game. Holland trying to create. Now a corner three is good. Davis Jones hits. Davis Jones had uh, made only one three-pointer the entire season prior to that make. So an unlikely shot, but it goes for the Spartans as we get a ball knocked out of bounds, and that ended over four minutes without any points for San Jose State. 18-7 to is the Santa Clara lead. Heel, Hudgens, Maldonado, Edmondson, and Pritchard the five on the floor. Here's a deep three from Hill. It's no good. A fight for the rebound and out of bounds to San Jose State. Edmondson working hard. Fell to the ground once again. So is San Jose State basketball. Spartan shooting it at 38% from the floor. It's been the turnovers, seven of them that have didn't, done them in here in this first quarter. Kayla Menny's got it. Picks up her dribble, hands off to Richards. Richards going baseline, and she dribbled out of bounds. The double team came. And the basketball will go back to Santa Clara. Ashley Haraki back in here for the Broncos. Jasmine Singleton returns for San Jose State. Minute 45 to go here in this first quarter. First quarter that has had a lot of whistles. Santa Clara's got an 18 to seven lead. Broncos shooting it at 46%. Pritchard, and she has the ball taken away. Good defense there from Holland. Holland quickly back the other way. 
Stops just inside the foul line, but misses long. Back to Santa Clara here with an 11 point lead. Late stages of the first quarter, Heel thought about it. Now finds Hiraki. Hiraki on the wing here to Pritchard. Still 13 on the shot clock. Ashley Maldonado, dribble drive to Hiraki, and a whistle and a travel. Really kind of a possession that was out of sorts there for Santa Clara. And it's their fifth turnover. Broncos, again, they only turn it over 14 times per game on average. That's the lowest total in the WCC. As we get a whistle and a foul down low against the Broncos, it'll be Laura Edmondson, her first. Just the third team foul on Santa Clara, so it'll be an out-of-bounds here for the Spartans as Hudgens and Grigora Pulu back in. Edmondson and Heal will take a seat. 52 and a half seconds to go here in the first quarter. Holland's got the basketball for San Jose State. It's an 11 point Broncos lead and a block. Grigora Pulu swats that one away. Here's Hudgens as the Spartans get back defensively and a bad pass. And it'll go back to San Jose State. Sloppy first quarter. Turnover is now an issue for the Broncos these last couple of minutes. And that look from Bill Carr kind of says it all. He's not real happy. Still an 11 point Santa Clara lead. Last half minute here of the first quarter. Outside, it's Davis Jones again. Hit one a moment ago. This time misses short. Broncos can hold it for the last shot of the quarter if they so choose. Rocky with the dribble. 13, 12, 11 seconds to go here in this first quarter. Rocky, nice crossover move, kicks it out to Pritchard and an offensive foul. Holland stepped in, drew the contact. For the Broncos, that's four turnovers in the last three minutes. Very uncharacteristic. Spartans will have to hurry here. Holland on the handoff, and the baseline jumper is good. So a little bit of a spark there at the end of the quarter for San Jose State. After one here at the Levy Center, it's a nine-point Broncos lead. Santa Clara 18, San Jose State 9. You're watching Broncos basketball on the WCC Network. First possession of the second quarter, San Jose State, a wing three from a Holland is no good. And a Santa Clara rebound. Broncos with the 18-9 lead. 
As we start quarter number two here at the Levy Center, Broncos' largest lead was 14 in that opening stanza. It's a, a sloppy opening quarter. Spartans turned it over eight times, Broncos seven. Uh, a sluggish start really on both sides. Most of those turnovers for Santa Clara came very late in that first quarter. So looking to clean things up here. Again, the Broncos shorthanded. Played only seven here so far. His heel nifty move going through the defense. And again, finishing with the left hand. Eight points for heel, leads all scores. Three out of four from the floor. And has hit both of her free throws as well. Playing well here in this opening half. 20 to nine, Santa Clara. Broncos trying to win a fourth consecutive game as that ball ends up in the hands of Davis Jones. A fortunate bounce there for San Jose State with some players on the floor. A little pressure in the backcourt here from the Spartans. Broncos able to break it as Haraki's pass knocked away and out of bounds. And this really is San Jose State basketball. They want to hurry you up. They want to force turnovers. They average about 10 and a half steals per game. So a Spartans team, and they're only one and seven, but that's something they have done well in this non-conference portion of their schedule. And that defense, that pressure, is affecting Santa Clara right now. Edmondson, though, getting into the lane. Laura Edmondson continuing her outstanding first half. Six points, seven rebounds. Looks like she could be headed for another double-double. Broncos back up by 11. Here's Holland. She'll put it on the floor. Now back to Davis Jones. And it's stolen by Haraki. Good Santa Clara defense. Haraki, kind of a wild shot. I think she was anticipating contact. There was no whistle, and the Spartans come away with the basketball. Broncos by 11. 7.50 to go here in the first half. Nichols around the screen, misses. Offensive rebound, no good. Another opportunity, though, for Fluker. And the first points for Fluker. Spartans are a good offensive rebounding team. That was certainly a focus for Bill Carr and the coaching staff during shoot around today. Trying to limit those second, or in that case, third chance points as Lexi Pritchard getting all the way to the basket. And Pritchard with her first points today, the fifth year senior guard from West Lynn, Oregon. Broncos leading 24 to 13. Here's an open three, no good from Singleton. And a long rebound to Haraki. Haraki stops. Heel thought about the three and then has it knocked away. Another San Jose State steal. Nichols quickly in transition. And that shot knocked out of bounds. Spartans will keep possession. Maldonado will return now for Santa Clara. Nicholas back for San Jose State. Broncos are shooting it at 53% from the floor. San Jose State at only 33%. Of note, Broncos haven't yet made a three-pointer in this game. Broncos, one of the best three-point shooting teams in the WCC, but 0 out of 4 here in the early going. There's a nice move. Nicholas high off the window. And Nicholas off the Spartans bench on the board with her first points. Sophomore forward from Fresno. It's a nine-point Santa Clara lead. Maldonado, a crossover dribble. Pritchard gets it back. Still 12 to shoot here for Santa Clara. Pritchard in the lane, and again she finishes. And Lexi Pritchard got the basketball back. And that's twice now. She's finished to, in the paint with that left hand. Four points for Lexi in a 26 to 15 Santa Clara lead. Singleton may have gotten away with a travel, missed the shot short, but another offensive rebound and put back for Nicholas. That's been San Jose State's best offense here the last little bit. Neal getting hounded as she gets it across the timeline. 5.35 to go, and the blow by from Pritchard. Alexi Pritchard. 
And that may be the M.O. right now for Santa Clara, this pressure defense being put on by San Jose State. And we're seeing some Broncos players take the Spartans off the dribble and have success. In particular, Lexi Pritchard here in this second quarter as Singleton fumbles it out of bounds. And a turnover will give it back to Santa Clara. Hudgens and Grigora Pulu returning here for the Broncos. Richards and Kayla Menny back for San Jose State. Broncos have a 28 to 17 lead nearing the halfway point here the second quarter. Tess Heal leading the Broncos with eight points, six each for Pritchard and Edmondson. Seven for Davis Jones. Tops among Spartans players. Pritchard's pass knocked away, she gets it back. Eight to shoot. Hudgens finds Heal, she's gotta create. Heal into the lane and she does and gets another one to go. So late clock offense, maybe not by design there for the Broncos, but Tess Heal's a great option when you need to create. And she's in double figures now, 10 points. Heal's had three 20 plus point games this season. Could be on her way to another. It's a good looking shot there from Nichols. Back to an 11 point Santa Clara lead. Offense has picked up a bit here in this second quarter. 30 to 19 is the Santa Clara advantage. Heels got it outside, gets knocked to the floor. And that'll be the first foul called on either team here in this second quarter. That'll bring us to a timeout. 4.12 to go in the first half. Broncos have an 11 point lead, 30 19 here on the WCC Network. Offense is picked up for Santa Clara here in the second quarter. Largely with getting into the paint and finishing, Broncos have hit six out of seven shots from the field in this quarter. And they've got an 11 point lead out of the timeout. Here's Ashley Maldonado with the basketball spinning away. Grigora Pulu now has it, nearly picked up the pivot foot, but finds heel, three to shoot, heel cut off, Maldonado, she's gotta go, steps inside the arc, and the runner is good. More late clock offense for the Broncos, and really just improvising there, Ashley Maldonado. She's got four points, and the Broncos are up 13. Santa Clara is now shooting a robust 62% from the floor. That three is no good, and the rebound controlled by the Broncos. Maldonado quickly ahead to Pritchard, no good, but a foul. And Lexi Pritchard is gonna go to the line. It's a shorthanded Santa Clara team. Broncos are without two of their regular starters tonight. Both Olivia Pollard, Aziana Vasallo, all right, not in uniform. Anna Johnson, Emma Ellinghouse, Jade Kadee, all key contributors off the bench. Also all unavailable. 
Of course, Tanya Stafford out for the year with the ACL injury. So the Santa Clara team known usually for their depth. Don't have a lot of it here tonight. But so far, so good. Pritchard there, one out of two at the line. Broncos have matched their largest lead of the game now, up by 14. 33 to 19 with 3.15 to go here in the second quarter. Down low, it's Moreland, and she's fouled. Moreland able to establish position. And she'll head to the free throw line. Gregora Pulu gets called for her first. Only the first team foul in the quarter on Santa Clara. Laura Edmondson back in now for Santa Clara. Moreland at the line, sophomore forward out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Transferred from Old Dominion, one of nine transfers that joined the San Jose State team this year. Hits both free throws, 33 to 21, Santa Clara. Pritchard, one-handed pass to Heel. Heel cut off at the baseline, she'll kick it back out. Maldonado, down low, Hudgens. Finds Pritchard, Broncos still without a made three-pointer. Here's a good look though, Hudgens rims out and a rebound controlled by San Jose State. Broncos have been remarkably efficient inside the arc here in this first half. Allowed them to build this 12-point lead as we get a foul. A lot of ball there defensively for Santa Clara. But the call on heel is gonna be her second foul. First Broncos player with two fouls, and Bill Carr is frustrated. And with the two fouls, Heal, the Broncos' leading scorer, heading to the bench. Araki will replace her. This is Sabrina Ma, a freshman for the Spartans. Excellent shooter. And she's on the board with her first points. Ma's a local player from San Francisco. St. Ignatius Prep, the San Francisco High School Player of the Year the last two seasons. Hits her two free throws and a 10 point margin here. Broncos leading 33-23. Inside of two and a half to go here in this first half. Maldonado, nice look to Hudgens. And another bucket in the paint for Santa Clara. Here's a shot for Ma. She misses offensive rebound. Davis Jones, another opportunity as Moreland comes away with the basketball and she's fouled underneath. Spartans crashing the glass. And that's been a big part of their offensive attack here in this second quarter. These second chance opportunities. Foul was on Laura Edmondson, and that's her second. So a shorthanded Broncos team, couple of key starters now on the bench with two fouls. Heel and Edmondson as Nichols gets it to go, plus the foul. That'll be on Maldonado. First foul on Maldonado, and a chance at a three-point play here for Ani Nichols. Nichols, who was a four-year starter at Tiffin University in Ohio, the Division II level, scored over 1,400 career points there. So she can fill it up. Averages seven points per game off the bench here for San Jose State. A three-point play there. And the Spartans are within nine. Broncos' largest lead was 14, which they had a couple of minutes ago. Maldonado with it outside to Haraki in the corner. 12 on the shot clock, and Haraki gets tripped up. And that'll be a San Jose State foul, just the third team foul on the Spartans. Speaking of Ashley Haraki, we're going to hear from the junior guard at the half. Had a chance to sit down with the San Jose native earlier today. And her thoughts on the start of the season. Here is Haraki off the inbounds for three. 
And there is the first three of the evening for Santa Clara. Ashley Hiraki, who has really found her stroke from distance in recent games. She made a career-high six threes in the win over Nevada on Sunday. As Moreland playing through the contact, will get back to the free throw line. So do stay tuned at the half. A conversation with Ashley Hiraki. Foul there was on Maldonado, which is her second. So a third Broncos starter with two fouls, and that becoming an issue here for Santa Clara as Moreland misses the first free throw. Moreland two out of three at the line. Make it three out of four. Kalenemy back in for the Spartans. And now some full court pressure here for San Jose State. 38-27, the Santa Clara lead. Minute 15 to go until halftime. Broncos able to break the pressure. And now we'll set things up. Maldonado with the dribble. Still with it, now to Hudgens on the wing. Hudgens trying to create. Eight on the shot clock. Maldonado's got it. Looking for Grigora Pulu, and she's fouled. So Maldonado, a good look once again, down low to Grigora Pulu. And uh, Grigora Pulu will go to the free throw line. Second foul on Sydney Richards. Grigora Pulu had a game a week and a half ago where she grabbed 16 rebounds off the bench for Santa Clara. Was in a blowout win over Lincoln University. Six three freshman from Athens, Greece. And a good stroke at the line. Two out of two for Grigora Pulu. 40 to 27. Santa Clara. Ellie Bonai, a junior guard now into the game for San Jose State for the first time. Spartans with it down 13. Down low, it's Fluker off the rim and a Santa Clara rebound. Maldonado looking to push. Now the Broncos will set it up. Here's Haraki, another three. This time she's short and a Spartans rebound. Basically no difference here between the shot clock and the game clock. Spartans can hold it, 40 to 27, a 13 point Santa Clara lead. Broncos have been pretty much in control the entire half. They were up nine at the end of the first quarter, up by as much as 14. Here's Holland. She misses, rebound to Hudgens. Broncos have a little bit of time. It's Maldonado across the half court line, lets it go, and it wouldn't have counted. And that will bring us to the half here at the Levy Center. The final non-conference game of the season. A conversation with Ashley Haraki is next. Broncos up 13 here on the WCC Network.
It's Santa Clara basketball here from the Levy Center. I'm Joe Rizzo, and my special guest today, Ashley Haraki, Broncos junior guard. And Ashley, the conference season uh, getting underway here. Uh, how do you feel the team has been coming together here so far? Especially since basketball was like a big emphasis in my life. And it's kind of like ironic that I'm here, especially since in high school, like I've played here since my freshman, sophomore year, having our like CCS conference games here. So it's definitely like, brings back memories and stuff and I just really enjoy being close to my family and like especially in California the area is so nice and the school here is great so everything just worked out very well. And I, I notice you always have a, a big cheering section here every game. <laughs> yeah definitely my whole family comes out um, my grandparents parents sister aunts and uncles it's just great to see them and have them come and support me. And Ashley, we appreciate the time. Best of luck here in this upcoming conference season. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. That's Broncos junior guard Ashley Haraki. This is Santa Clara Basketball here from the Levy Center. Welcome back to the Levy Center at the half, a 40 to 27 lead for the Santa Clara Broncos, the South Bay rivalry game against San Jose State. As we take a look at some of the highlights uh, from the first half, really was a half controlled by Santa Clara. Defense turning to offense. We saw that a, a theme throughout that opening quarter in particular. Broncos were able to force eight San Jose State turnovers in the first quarter. Ashley Maldonado, a great look down low there to Mariah Hudgens. This was Tess Heal, the spin move and the finish. Heal leading all scores with 10 points in that opening half. Spartans were able to get their offense going a bit in the second quarter. It's a good look there from Jada Holland, although Holland, the leading scorer for the Spartans at 12 points per game, managed only four in that first half. Lexi Pritchard had a number of strong finishes at the basket in that second quarter. Lexi had seven points in that first half. Broncos were up nine at the end of one. Their largest lead was 14 in that opening half. And now the 13-point margin here 
after one half of play. The Ashley Haraki three there, the only made three-point basket for the Broncos. So a, a very different kind of offensive attack here for Santa Clara. The Broncos average nine made threes per game, which is tops in the WCC. Hit just one in that first half, yet they've got the 13-point lead. The Broncos doing a lot of their damage in the paint, and that's reflected in the overall shooting percentage. As we look at those first half stats, the Broncos shot it at a sizzling 60% from the floor. San Jose State, it's just 36% shooting. Both teams were actually one out of seven from three-point range. Rebounds fairly even. Broncos had seven assists on their 15 made baskets. Turnovers pretty high on both sides, although the bulk of those turnovers on both sides came in that first quarter. Things uh, were cleaned up a bit in quarter number two, and as a result, the scoring really picked up. Again, Tess Heal leading the way for the Broncos with 10 on four of five shooting, seven for Pritchard, six each for Edmondson and Hudgens. Edmondson, 6.7 rebounds, could be on her way to a double-double. Seven points for Marissa Davis-Jones, leading the way for San Jose State. All right, that's our halftime here at the Levy Center. The Broncos with the 13-point lead here over San Jose State. Second half action is next here on the WCC Network. Welcome back to Broncos basketball. Santa Clara, the 13-point halftime lead here over San Jose State in the South Bay rivalry game. Broncos trying to win a fourth straight game overall. Coming in at 8-4. and four. This is their final non-conference game on uh, their schedule here during the regular season. Up next to uh, the 18-game gauntlet that is the WCC slate. It is coming fast Broncos when they're next in action it'll be their WCC opener here on Saturday afternoon the Broncos are going to start their conference schedule with three straight home games 
So a great opportunity for Santa Clara to get off to a, a good start in conference. They're going to host Pepperdine here on Saturday at 2 o'clock. On Monday next week, Loyola Marymount will be here for another 2 o'clock tip. And the Broncos will have a bit of a break over the holidays and uh, will next play on December the 31st when they'll host San Francisco in another rivalry game. So Pepperdine, LMU, and USF, the three straight home games to open up the conference schedule. And all three here at the Levy Center. But first things first, one more non-conference matchup. And so far, so good here for Santa Clara against their South Bay rival. Broncos with their starting five on the floor. Santa Clara has used only seven players in this game, very short-handed once again. And that'll be a, a theme, a, a storyline to follow when the conference play begins on Saturday. How many of these unavailable players, these last two contests, might be able to get back in there? And we'll just have to wait and see on that as Lexi Pritchard had the shot blocked, but a foul. And Pritchard will go to the line. The foul on Holland will be her second. Some foul trouble on both sides. Broncos, Maldonado, Edmondson, and Heel have two fouls each. Nicholas with three fouls off the San Jose State bench. Holland, Richards, and Moreland now with two each. Pritchard way off the mark there on that free throw attempt. Uncharacteristic. Pritchard seven points. Moving into the starting role during the Broncos' most recent game. Although it is a role that she is quite familiar with, having started mainly two seasons ago. Hits the second free throw. And the Broncos have matched their largest lead, 41 to 27 here, opening minute of the third quarter. Davis Jones puts it on the floor, and she'll get to the line. We'll see if the Spartans really try and establish Marissa Davis Jones. The 6-1 sophomore forward. Davis Jones averages about 10 points, seven rebounds a game. He transferred from the University of Washington. She only played in four games for the Huskies last season. Transferred here to San Jose State. She was the Gatorade High School Player of the Year in the state of Arizona two years ago, one of the top recruits in the country. So a real fine in the transfer market for San Jose State here this season. Made one free throw, is Heal the blow by and the finish. Tess Heal with 12. So dangerous off the dribble. Heels hit five out of her six shots here today. And we get a traveling call on Davis Jones. A little too ahead of herself. And the Spartans with their 11th turnover, and Davis Jones is going to take a seat as Nicholas back into the game here for San Jose State. Broncos up 15. I've seen this pressure defense much of the night here from the Spartans, which at times has been effective, making the Broncos uncomfortable. Santa Clara, even though they are so shorthanded, they, they still have... A number of ball handlers out there, players that you'd feel comfortable handling the point. Big reason why the Broncos haven't been hurt by turnovers much this year. Pritchard got the ball back after the shot was blocked but missed the layup. Spartans basketball here as Singleton puts it on the floor. Still with it. Now loses the basketball and Heal comes away with it. Lexi Pritchard slow to get up behind the play. Uh, she's hobbling a bit as she comes back up the floor. She'll stay in for now. Here's a good look. Maldonado to Edmondson. Ashley Maldonado. That's her fourth assist to go with five rebounds and four points. Excellent all-around game running the point here for Santa Clara. And a timeout called by San Jose State. 
as the Broncos, their largest lead of the night, 7.59 to go. Here in the third quarter, Broncos up 17 on the WCC Network. Seventeen point lead for Santa Clara, 45-28 here over San Jose State. Tess Heal leading the Broncos with 12 points. Broncos are up to 61% now shooting. We've got 28 points in the paint, outscoring San Jose State 28 to 14 in the paint. It has been working well here for the Broncos tonight against this Spartans team. Down low, that's Fluker, she misses, and another rebound for Edmondson. Broncos quickly back the other way. Haraki back to Edmondson, she's open, and the three rims out. Tess Heal, though, fighting for the offensive rebound. Great effort from the freshman. And the shot clock resets to 20. Broncos up 17 with the basketball. Corner three, Maldonado off the back rim. Edmondson had it, and she's fouled. Lara Edmondson working hard on the glass, able to draw that foul. Foul will be on Fluker, her second, and the second Spartans team foul in the quarter is Amaya Moreland back in now for San Jose State. Araki gets the ball on the inbound, so dribble it back out. 7.15 to go here in the third quarter. Broncos up 45-28. Araki getting cut off, wanted the call there or was anticipating it. Second time she's tried that, both times hasn't gotten the whistle. Spartans basketball, Nicholas, she's open. Three-point shot off the front rim. Spartans continue to struggle shooting from three, just 20% as a team this season coming into tonight and just one made three here this evening, one out of eight. Just not much of a threat from distance. Still up 17 here is Santa Clara. Richards with it way outside for the Spartans. Now Nicholas posting up here on Hudgens. The shot over Hudgens no good, but she gets her own miss and will go to the foul line. Oh, I beg your pardon. It's going back the other way here to Santa Clara. So Nicholas turns it over. And it's Broncos basketball here. Still up by the 45 to 28 margin. Broncos have missed their last four shots. As Pritchard with the dribble. Back out to Hudgens, swings it to Haraki. She's open. Haraki for three. And the way Ashley Haraki is going right now, you can't leave her that wide open. Haraki, over her last five games, is shooting it at 46% from three point range. 13 made threes during those five games. She is heating up. There's a good 
Looking shot from Moreland. Moreland's got six. Here's Heels spinning in the lane, and we get a foul that'll be called on San Jose State. Holland hit the deck, but she'll be whistled for the foul. And it'll be an inbounds here for Santa Clara as we get substitutions. Rigora Pulu back for the Broncos. Nichols and Bonai returning here for San Jose State. Kayla Menny also returning now for the Spartans. 5.26 to go here in the quarter. Broncos have been just steadily adding to their lead. Have been in control really the entire way. Right now up by 18. Pritchard putting it on the floor. Still 10 to shoot. Here's Haraki going baseline. Haraki tried the reverse layup. That shot really didn't have a chance, partially blocked. And the Spartans have it back. Spartans have been held only three points here in this third quarter. Broncos defense has clamped down. Here's Nicholas and an offensive foul. Rocky took a hard fall there. And she is up, so that's a good sign. A lot of contact down low. Wow. Yeah, hit the back of her head. And we'll check on her over there on the Santa Clara bench. Another timeout. Broncos up 18, 4.50 to go in the third quarter. You're watching Santa Clara basketball on the WCC Network. Largest need of the night for Santa Clara, 48-30 here over San Jose State with 4.50 to go in the third quarter. Broncos again have held the Spartans to only three points in this quarter. Actually, Hiraki took a pretty good shot there at the back of her head, drawing that charge. She's on the bench. Ashley Maldonado has replaced her. Here's Hudgens, and she's fouled. Good look out of the timeout there for Santa Clara. A well-designed play, and Hudgens got hit on the arm on her elbow jumper. So free throws coming for the freshman. Hudgens, who's averaged about nine points per game over her last five contests. Her scoring has picked up here of late. She's got seven and a couple of rebounds off the bench here tonight. All-state player in high school in Colorado. Won a state championship at Grandview High. Hits both free throws, and it's a 20-point lead now for Santa Clara, 50-30. to 30. And we get another San Jose State turnover. Gayla Meni shuffled the feet. 
That's 15 Spartans turnovers. So Santa Clara basketball here with a 20 point lead. It's part of a double header here at the Levy Center tonight as Lexi Pritchard a long two and it rolls in. The Bronco men will be hosting Portland State. Seven o'clock tip off here on the WCC network, part of a long home stand for the Santa Clara men's team. Nichols looked like she got away with a travel. Spartans still with possession. And a powerful move there from Moreland, able to finish. Offense has been hard to come by for San Jose State here in this third quarter. Back to a 20 point lead here for Santa Clara. 340 to go in the corner. Pass was too high for Hudgens, but in the hands of Pritchard, who tried to find a heel, and that pass was too high. Disjointed possession there for the Broncos, and they turn it over. Edmondson returns now for Grigora Pulu. 52-32 is the Santa Clara lead. Broncos still shooting it at 54% from the field. But another solid defensive effort for Santa Clara. They've been saying that a lot here of late. A little bit too much contact there, however. And that'll be the third foul on Edmondson. First Bronco with three fouls tonight. And free throws coming here for Amaya Moreland. Moreland seven points, three rebounds. Off the Spartans bench. First free throw is well short. Spartans will begin play in the Mountain West Conference here in a couple of weeks. Still sitting on just one win for the year as they came into tonight's game at just one and seven. Edmondson right back to the bench after picking up that third foul. Gregora Pulu replaces her. Broncos have still only used seven players in this game. Here's Maldonado. She's open and drains it. Ashley Maldonado for three. Seven for Ashley. Good to see Ashley Haraki, meanwhile, at the scorer's table. After taking that shot to the head, she'll be checking back in at the next whistle. Broncos up 22. Moreland again spinning in the lane. Good defense there. Comes up short. And Hudgens hitting the deck. Able to find Tess Heal. Heal will bring it into the paint. And we get a whistle. And an offensive foul is going to be called. That's the third foul on Heal. So another Broncos starter with three fouls as Haraki replaces Hudgens here. 2.45 to go in the third quarter. A long time on the bench for Marissa Davis-Jones, who has been the top scorer for San Jose State tonight. She's finally back in here. 22-point Santa Clara lead. Kayla Menny picks up her dribble. Finds Singleton. The defense here from the Broncos on this possession. Now a quick three is way short. Kayla Menny, Broncos can certainly live with that shot. Here's Haraki's pass, gets knocked away. He'll able to track it down near the half court line. Coming up on two minutes to go here in the third. Heel spinning in the lane, shot blocked, and it's out of bounds. Broncos will keep it. Been a physical game here tonight. Haven't seen much outside shooting. Both teams doing most of their work in the paint. Broncos swing it, heel in the corner. She's open, hits the three. Broncos off the inbounds there, able to rotate that ball. And Tess Heel in the corner, hits her first three of the night. Heels up to 15 now, leading all scores. And the Broncos are up 25. Going right through the defense though, there was Nichols. And a rare open look underneath for San Jose State tonight. Nichols has seven. Broncos will try an answer. Here's Heel. She'll try again. This one no good. And a San Jose State rebound. 
Late stages here of the third quarter, 58 to 35, Santa Clara. Davis Jones with the dribble, and she throws it away. Tried to hit Singleton, threw it to her coach instead. Hutchins returns now for heel. 106 to go in the quarter, 58-35 Santa Clara. Broncos have extended their lead here. Santa Clara was up 13 at the half. Here's Maldonado, finds herself open. Off the mark, but an offensive rebound. Rigora Pulu came away with it. And a San Jose State foul. And the Spartans are over the limit here in the quarter. So it'll be free throws for Santa Clara. So a couple of the free throws for Gregora Pulu, has got two points, two rebounds tonight. First free throw is short. Broncos, good free throw shooting team and 12 out of 15 now tonight, right at 80%. Hits the second. Broncos up 24, final minute here of this third quarter. Broncos have done a great job shutting down Jada Holland, leading scorer for San Jose State. Been held to only four points here. Here's Moreland, she misses, and a Broncos rebound, but the outlet pass was knocked away and stolen by Nichols. So another chance here for San Jose State. Moreland finds Holland, back to Moreland underneath, and the layup for Amaya Moreland. Frustrating sequence there for Santa Clara. The Broncos now can hold it for the final shot here of the third quarter, up by 22. Seven seconds, six, Pritchard on the baseline, backs it back out, three seconds, Pritchard still with it, looking for an opening, and Pritchard at the buzzer, no good. And that takes us to the end of the third quarter. Broncos have a 22-point lead, 59 to 37. One quarter remains in this South Bay rivalry game. Coming up next, here on the WCC Network. Ready to start the fourth quarter here at the Levy Center. 22-point lead for Santa Clara. Broncos with Maldonado, Heal, Edmondson, Hudgens, and Haraki on the floor here to start this final quarter. All Broncos really logging heavy minutes 
again here this evening with Santa Clara dressing only eight players. Maldonado has her pocket picked and back the other way, the layup for Jasmine Singleton. Those are the first points for Singleton tonight. Broncos quickly trying to answer and heal to Edmondson. So Santa Clara gets it right back. Edmondson's approaching a double-double, 10 points, nine rebounds. Broncos back up by 22. Opening minute here of the fourth quarter. Pass down low for Moreland, and it's stolen by Edmondson. Again, Santa Clara in transition. Heel will pull up. Didn't really have the numbers. And now the Broncos will set up the offense. Maldonado up top with still 15 to shoot. Broncos at 52% from the floor, four out of 14 from three-point range. Here's Hudgens, wing three off the back rim. Long rebound, Haraki fighting for it, knocks it to heel. Broncos keep possession. Heel is leading all scores with 15 points. Down low to Hudgens, and Hudgens converts. Mariah Hudgens becomes the fourth Bronco into double figures here today. Very balanced scoring once again for Santa Clara. Broncos up 24. The runner from Singleton is way off the mark and the ball knocked out of bounds. It'll stay here with San Jose State. Davis Jones, Richards, Fluker all back in here for the Spartans with 8.08 to go in the game. Broncos with a win here tonight would end the non-conference a nine and four record. And that would be a, a great stretch for this team, this program heading into WCC play. Long three from Davis Jones was way off the mark. Here comes Hudgens back the other way and she draws the foul. Free throws coming for Mariah Hudgens. Especially impressive, that record for the Broncos. Again, when you consider they started two and three. Santa Clara, a lot of new faces. Three freshmen, three transfers. It took a few games for the group really to gel and come together. But it's been a, a great stretch really kind of began with those two convincing wins they had over the Thanksgiving weekend down in Las Vegas, beating a couple of high quality teams down there. South Dakota and Washington carried over to that great effort against Stanford, even in a loss. And the Broncos haven't lost since that game against the Cardinal. And looking good here tonight, up by 25 with 7.45 to go in the game. Hudgens hit one out of two at the line. She's got 11 points here this evening. This is Sabrina Ma with the basketball. Down low to Davis Jones. Lots of contact. Hudgens fell. And ultimately a foul is going to be called on Santa Clara. It'll be on Edmondson. Which for Lara is going to be her fourth So free throws here for Marissa Davis-Jones. And she hits the first. Four Broncos in double figures tonight. Heel with 15. 11 for Hudgens. 10 each for Edmondson and Pritchard. Haraki, 8. Maldonado, 7. Also approaching double digits. Two free throws for Davis-Jones. 64 to 41 is the Santa Clara lead. Hudgens, little scoop shot in the lane, rolls out, and a Spartans rebound. Even a shot like that, even though it was missed, it speaks to the confidence of Mariah Hudgens looking for her shot, talented offensive player. Ma gets the bucket back the other way for the Spartans. 21 point Santa Clara lead inside of seven minutes remaining. Broncos looking to finish strong here. Rocky, and she got caught up in the air and travels. So a Santa Clara turnover, Spartans basketball. 
Anna Clara has held San Jose State to 37% shooting. Here's a deep three for Ma, and it's perfect. Wow, what range shown there by Sabrina Ma. Off the bench, she leads this Spartans team and made threes for the year, and you see why with that last shot. As Haraki's pass for Grigora Pulu swatted out of bounds. It'll be Santa Clara basketball, but we're going to have a timeout first. Bill Carr wants to talk things over. The lead is down to 18 here for Santa Clara. With 6.29 to go in this game. It's a full timeout. We'll step aside here. It's Broncos basketball on the WCC Network. Spartans on a 7-0 run, forced the Santa Clara timeout. Now the Broncos out of the timeout, and Lexi Pritchard with the bucket. So the timeout to just kind of calm everybody down. And uh, a nice possession there for the Broncos, who are back up by 20, 66 to 46. Broncos have shot it well here tonight. With much of their offensive output coming in the key. Fluker misses, and Edmondson able to fight hard, gets the rebound, and that should give her a double-double here. 10 points, 10 rebounds. Here's Tess Heal on the wing to Maldonado. Edmondson up top, will hand off to Heal, 10 to shoot. Good movement here for the Broncos, and Pritchard Heading to the basket, she's fouled. Little burst there from Lexi Pritchard. Head coach Bill Carr has talked about Lexi, how she's playing faster now, fully healthy again. And you could kind of see that burst on that last play. So free throws here for Pritchard, 12 points for Lexi tonight. First free throw rattles out. Pritchard making her second start of the season. Did start 24 games two years ago. This is both of the free throws, but Ashley Haraki going flying through the lane comes away with the offensive rebound. So the Broncos, another possession here with a 20 point lead. There is Lexi Pritchard again. <laughs> she misses the free throws. So able to get to the basket. And that has been the offense tonight for Pritchard. Taking her defender off the dribble. 14 now for Pritchard. Five minutes to go in this game. And it's a game really where the Broncos have felt as if they've been in control the entire time. Although Sabrina Ma is heating up now for San Jose State. She's hit a couple of threes here in this final quarter. 
Moss got 10 points off the bench. Came in averaging only four per game for San Jose State. Here's Heal, deep two. And she gets a friendly roll. So another bucket for Heal. Leading all scores with 17. 70 to 49, Santa Clara. Here's Moreland, the double team comes. Kicks it back out to Maw. Now Moreland again, posting up on Edmondson. Off the glass, no good. Fight for the rebound, and Ashley Haraki, in the midst of some taller players, comes away with the basketball. Pritchard now down low to heel. Fumbled it momentarily, gets it back, and will go to the free throw line. So free throws coming here for a heel. Heal 17 points, very efficient, seven of 10 from the floor. As her first free throw is good. Heal who scored 28 points in her first collegiate game. What a debut effort. And has put together a, an incredible start to her career here with the Santa Clara Broncos. And again, leading the way tonight. Up 23 here for Santa Clara. Moss spinning away, guarding closely there by Haraki. Now in the corner, Nicholas. Back to Ma, and we get a whistle and a little touch foul called here on Ashley Haraki. Third foul on Haraki. Only the second team foul in the quarter on the Broncos. As Kayla Menny back in now for the Spartans. 3.38 to go in the game. Ma a little shaken up as she limps over to the San Jose State bench. She's been the Spartans' best player here in this final quarter. 23-point lead here for Santa Clara. Here's Singleton outside, drives. Down low to Fluker, had the shot blocked. Kicks it back out, the long three there is no good. That was Sammy Shields uh, who just checked in for San Jose State. And now it's Santa Clara basketball. Pritchard going all the way and she finishes. Lexi Pritchard having herself a big night. The fifth year senior from West Lynn, Oregon. Seven of 11 from the floor, 16 points. And the Spartans just haven't had an answer for Pritchard off the dribble. Good defense there from Laura Edmondson. Hudgens comes away with a loose ball. Broncos have matched their largest lead up 25. Final couple of minutes here of this game with Santa Clara. Heading to another big win here. A game that will close out their non-conference. Heal finds herself wide open. And an easy two for Tess. Giving her 21. For Tess Heal, that's her fourth 20-point game. And San Jose State wants a timeout. It's going to be a, a substitution timeout. Chance to get some new players in there. Maldonado and Grigora Pulu will also come back in here for Santa Clara. Just 2.19 to go. Broncos are on an 8-0 run. And are now up 27 here on San Jose State. It's going to be a long process here for the Spartans. Basically a brand new team. Brand new coaching staff taking some lumps right now. We'll see what they can do in Mountain West play when that gets started for them here in a couple of weeks. Coming up on two minutes remaining. Broncos leading 76 to 49. Lexi Pritchard again all the way to the basket and a finish with the left hand. And why not just keep doing it if you're Pritchard. Spartans have had no answer for that, both Heal and Pritchard getting to the basket. And now we get a, another San Jose State timeout. This one, I think for real, as April Phillips wants to talk things over with her team. A short timeout with 1.46 remaining. 
And Santa Clara up by 29. Again, we've got the Bronco men in action coming up at 7 o'clock tonight. Santa Clara hosting Portland State here at the Levy Center. Broncos need a bounce back effort after a frustrating loss, one that got away from them in the second half against San Jose State last weekend. Santa Clara men, in uh, the midst of a long homestand, they've got UC Irvine here on Thursday. The Bronco women up next for them, conference play Saturday afternoon, hosting Pepperdine. Pepperdine, the, uh, the waves will come in for a two o'clock tip. And we'll have that for you right here on the WCC network. Lexi Pritchard, by the way, with those 18 points tonight, that has matched her career high. It's the second time she's done it here this season. Also had 18 in the blowout win over Lincoln a week and a half ago. So out of the timeout, San Jose State basketball, a 29-point Broncos lead. 10 on the shot clock as the Spartans swing it. This is Shields, step back, long three off the front rim. San Jose State, an offensive rebound underneath. Nicholas had the shot affected. Hudgens has it, fighting with some Spartans players. Comes away with it. However, the outlet pass from Heel is intercepted. And the Spartans get it back. Coming up on a minute to go in this game. Broncos have scored the last 10 points. Finishing strong here in this one against San Jose State. Been another excellent defensive effort for Santa Clara. They've held the Spartans to 35% shooting, only three made threes. As Hudgens gets her hand in there, swipes it away. And Santa Clara forces another turnover. Final half minute of this one. Rigora Pulu over to Ashley Maldonado. Going baseline, has the shot blocked. Now Hudgens, she's open, and Hudgens for three. Why not? Mariah Hudgens, 14 points off the bench. And a final exclamation point here in this one for Santa Clara. A dominating victory over their South Bay rival here this evening at the Levy Center as Nichols misses, and that will do it. All Broncos from start to finish. Santa Clara wins a fourth straight game as they handle the San Jose State Spartans here this evening. Final score, the Broncos 81 and the Spartans 49. We'll take a break here at the Levy Center when we come back. We'll be joined by Broncos head coach Bill Carr on our Santa Clara postgame show. That's coming up next here on the WCC Network. All right, back here at the Levy Center on our Broncos postgame show. Big win for Santa Clara here tonight as they handle San Jose State a 32-point margin, 81-49 to the final. Joe Rizzo joined now courtside by Santa Clara head coach Bill Carr. And, uh, Coach, a great way, I thought, to finish off the non-conference schedule. What a physical game. It usually is that way, a, a, a rivalry game, a local opponent. 
and uh, even shorthanded, your group was definitely up to the challenge tonight. Yeah, I thought we, um, I thought we just kept playing. You know, I, I thought we got out to a good start, and you know, teams are going to make a run at you, and they they did in the second quarter, and and we, um, you know, played pretty well at the end of the half, got the 13, and then. Got the ball moving a little better in the second half, I thought. And we guarded pretty well, right? They, we, I thought we were in re really good spots. Um, rebounded uh, well tonight. Uh, but then just moved the ball, and it shows in the stats. Four, four players in double digits and double figures. And Laurie's got a double-double. And, yeah, I mean, it was just a good team effort. Um, it will be nice to, to get some reinforcements, uh, get everybody healthy, and, um, you know, get them back for conference play. Yeah, back-to-back -back games, only seven players uh, played, but obviously making it work. You think about your team, and it, it's a great shooting team. You lead the conference in made threes per game. That wasn't a big part of your output tonight. A lot of points in the paint. Boy, both Tess Hill, Lexi Pritchard, they, they seemingly had no answer for either. Was that an emphasis here this evening? Obviously, it worked very well. Yeah, yeah. I, You know, we shoot the ball well, and I think people see that, but you know, I, I think we've gotten better since the beginning of the year because we're guarding. And that gives us opportunities on the other end. And, you know, the, the, the group has really responded to what we're selling on defense. And, and that's really helping us on offense. And tonight we spread them out a little bit and, and forced them maybe to guard us uh, a little higher than normal. And we, we got some, some players who can get to the paint, right? And, and you know, it's not always perfect, but uh, they're getting really good at it and getting, getting used to it, if you will. And while you are shorthanded right now, it, it speaks to the depth, right, of your program where somebody like an Ashley Maldonado, who has been a starter and a very good starter, you can plug her in and, what, six assists, six rebounds, seven, running the offense yep. here. Yep. I mean, you just don't skip a beat with somebody like that. Yep. You know, and, and she can make shots, too. You know, Ash, Ash can do a lot of different things. She, she's got a really good feel with the ball. And I thought in the second half, you know, as we move the ball and we got the ball side to side, that really plays into Ashley's hands. Because now when our forwards are cutting and being at the rim, she's hitting them, mm -hmm. right? So really proud of her. And, you know, she's coming back from an injury, so timing's an issue. Uh, same with Lex. Uh, but really proud of this group, really proud of the of the seven that went to Nevada and came home two days later and, and got two back-to-back -back wins. And, you know, that's hard. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, I thought Georgia came in and, and did well tonight. Uh, obviously, Mariah, the whole group. I mean, I can go down all seven. They all played really well, which shows in the score. Yeah, and you mentioned coming back from Nevada. I mean, this is kind of a taste of now what's ahead, where you've got this gauntlet of 18 games in the WCC, and it's going to be generally two games a week where you're coming back 48 right. hours later. I mean, do you feel good about where your group is right now as you embark on kind of the next stage of, of this season, which will begin on Saturday afternoon? Yeah, I, I, I do. And, and you're right. I mean, the 18 games, it's a marathon, gauntlet, whatever you want to call it. It is, it is a long two months. And, you know, I think we're ready for it. And we talk all the time. Like, we talk all the time that if you want to win in this conference, if you want to be at the top end of this conference, you have to win that second day. You have to be able to win on Saturday, right? Today was a Saturday game in conference. So, you know, we got that experience now, and, and I think they understand the importance of it. You got to obviously win on Thursday. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but you have to be ready to compete on a short prep on Saturday, and that's what today was. All right. Well, Broncos finished the, uh, the non-conference 9-4. and four. They've won four straight, and now Saturday, Pepperdine. Coach, we'll see you then. Should be fun. Okay, I'll be here. All right, that's Santa Clara Thanks. head coach Bill Carr after this 81-49 to Broncos win here over San Jose State. A very impressive showing for the Broncos in this South Bay rivalry matchup. All Santa Clara. They've uh, not only won four straight, but uh, seven out of their last eight overall. As uh, we take a look at some of the stats from this one the broncos ended up shooting 57 percent from the floor just outstanding shooting for santa clara uh, tonight and, and again a lot of that was done in the paint broncos had 42 points in the paint uh, here this evening didn't do as much from deep but didn't need it broncos were five out of 16 
from three-point range. Held San Jose State to only 34% shooting here this evening. Broncos had the sizable advantage in the rebounding, plus 15. They also turned over the Spartans 18 times uh, in this one. All in all, just a great effort for the Broncos, who had four players in double figures, led by Tess Heels, 21 points. 21 points on 8 of 11 shooting. Uh, for Tess Heal tonight, 18 for Lexi Pritchard, 14 off the bench for Mariah Hudgens, and a double-double for Lara Edmondson, 10 points, 10 rebounds. Should also note, as we did with the coach, the effort from Ashley Maldonado moving into that starting point guard role, 7 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists. And it all adds up to an 81-49 to win for Santa Clara. Broncos are next in action on Saturday the opener of the WCC schedule, first of 18 conference games. It'll be a lot of fun here over the next couple of months, and we'll be with you throughout the Broncos and Pepperdine Saturday, 2 o'clock tip-off, right here on the WCC Network, and uh, we hope you'll join us then. This telecast was granted by Santa Clara University and the West Coast Conference. Any use and rebroadcast requires the express written consent of Santa Clara and the WCC. For the entire BAOSN broadcast team, I'm Joe Rizzo thanking you for watching. Broncos win it 81-49. Good night from Santa Clara.